Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about composite functions, right? So this video is specially for the GRE mathematics subject test. Just a disclaimer, this is not the GRE general test. This is the GRE mathematics subject test. So this is the section one, which is part one, which is pre-calculus, section one, which is functions, and then we're doing composite functions. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you what composite functions are. Uh, it should not take too long because if you're writing the GRE mathematics subject test, it's something that you should definitely know. Now let's say you have a function, right? So let's say, sorry about that. Okay, so let's say that uh, you have a function and uh, that function is f of x. So uh, if you've seen the previous video, you would have seen that uh, when I define a function, so let's suppose if I define a function f of x, that is equal to y. All the x values are the domain of the function and all the y values are the range of the function, right? So you have a function, let's say f of x, which maps x to y, right? And let's say you have another function, that is g of x. And what does g of x do? Uh, it's another function of x and it also maps x to y. So it also maps all the x values to y. Now what we're saying is, we are saying that there is a composite function which comprises of this f of x and this g of x. One of them would be, let's say, one of them would be f of g of x. That is the function of a function. When the input of the function is a function itself, then we call that function as a composite function. So f of g of x. So in here, the input is g of x. This is also denoted, denoted as fog of x, or it's also denoted as f dot g of x. Not a dot, but kind of a small o. So what here, what's happening here is, this here is the input of the function, right? So, so that's there. Another way you can write it as, another type of composite function is g of f of x, in which f of x is the input of g of x. Let's say, for example, if I have two functions, let's suppose f of x is equal to x plus 2 and g of x is actually equal to x square. So if that is the case, then what is going to be f of g of x? f of g of x is going to be equal to f of, so you start from the inside, you always start from the inside. So what is g of x? g of x is nothing but x square. And then what is f of x square? So wherever you have x, you're going to put x square. So f of x square is x square plus 2. So this is f of g of x. What is going to be g of f of x? So when I say g of f of x, first of all, I'm actually going to start from the inside. What is f of x? f of x is x plus 2. So that is g of x plus 2. And what is g of x? g of x is x square. So g of x plus 2 is going to be x plus 2 whole square. So it is not always true that f of g of x will equal g of f of x. They might be different, right? So I hope you got that. So these are the composite functions, two types of composite functions. That is f of g of x and g of f of x. Now let's see uh, a, you know, a question here so that uh, a question that you can expect in your GRE subject test. Uh, so, so here the question says that consider the functions f and g such that f of g of x is this and g of x is this, then what is the value of f of 4? So we've been given f of g of x to be equal to square root of x square plus 1 minus 1 and we have been given the value of g of x which is actually equal to x square plus 1. So what is g of x? g of x is x square plus 1 so that's going to be f of x square plus 1 is equal to square root of x square plus 1 minus 1. So now we're actually going a little back. Now, wherever you have x squared plus 1, we need to find the value of f of x, right? So wherever you have x squared plus 1, what you're going to do is you're going to substitute x for it. But what we're doing is because we're changing the input from x squared plus 1 to x, so we're going to change the output also from x squared plus 1 to x. So this is actually f of x. Now, even if you reverse engineer from here, you kind of go backwards, you would see that if I try to find f of g of x using this f of x and this g of x, I'm actually going to get uh, the same thing here, right? So, so 
that means this over here is the value of f of x now what is the question asking you the question is asking you f of 4 so what is the value of f of 4 f of 4 is square root 4 minus 1 right uh, that is equal to 2 minus 1 which is actually equal to 1 which is our answer so I hope you got that guys I hope you understood so here you have you have to actually go a little backwards uh, right so so that's there now let's see another question right so sorry about that so we have this question here right so let's see this question so this question says that let f and g be real valued functions defined on the entire line such that f of x is this and g of x is this find all the values which prove that so we need to say if we have to find all the values which say f of g of x is equal to g of f of x so f of x is g of x square minus 1 and g of x is equal to uh, x minus 1 right so that's what is there so let's just go ahead and substitute in that so f of g of x is equal to g of when what is f of x f of x is g of x square minus 1 okay so I've written it again here so okay so what is f of g of x f of g of x so g of x is x minus 1 so that is going to be f of x minus 1 is equal to what, what g of x is x minus 1 then what is g of f of x so instead of x what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write f of x so instead of x I'm actually going to write f of x so g of f of x is f of x minus 1 because g of x is equal to x minus 1 that means g of f of x is actually going to be equal to f of x minus 1 as you can see wherever there is an x I'm actually substituting that by f of x right so this is what I have what is f of x minus 1 now what is f of x guys f of x is g of x square minus 1 so what is going to be f of x minus 1 f of x minus 1 is going to be equal to g of wherever you have x just put x minus 1 and that is what it is so f of x minus 1 is g of x minus 1 whole square minus 1 so that is equal to g of x minus 1 whole square minus 1 that is equal to what is f of x f of x is g of x square minus 1 minus 1 so this is what I have now I just need to solve this one up so this is g of x square x uh, g of uh, x uh, minus 1 whole square so that is g of x square so x square so I'm just gonna open this up x minus 1 whole square so that's a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 1 uh, that is equal to g of x square minus 1 so what is g of x square minus 1 g of x is x minus 1 so g of x square minus 1 is gonna be equal to uh, g of x square minus 1 minus 1 and then you have another minus 1 here I'm going to explain what's happening here g of x square minus 1 so instead of x what you're going to do is you're going to write x square minus 1 and then you have this minus 1 here which is this minus 1 and then you have another minus 1 here which is another minus 1 so I have g of uh, so this 1 and 1 gets eliminated g of x square minus 2x is actually equal to x square minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so that's minus 3 and what is g of x square minus 2x so instead of x you're gonna have x square minus 2x uh, then you're gonna have your minus 1 here right uh, that is equal to x square minus 3 as you can see this x square and x square gets eliminated that makes life easy for us negative 2x is actually equal to uh, equal to negative 3 and positive 1 this one when goes when it goes there becomes positive negative 2x is actually equal to negative 2 that means x is equal to 1 and that is our answer so you see you will not get straightforward questions in your GRE mathematics subject test you will always get uh, questions which will involve some manipulations and uh, so when I introduce questions which have answer options in them game is gonna change completely right now we're focusing only on concepts that is most important then after that we're going to be focusing on strategies so i hope you understood the question that i did here i'm just gonna uh, so so i'm just gonna kind of revise what happened here so f of g of x so when you have g of x see it's all about substitution wherever you see g of x you substitute x minus one see that's what i did wherever i saw f of x i substitute g of x square minus one so uh what is g of f of x right so g of f of x is 
f of x minus 1. So f of x minus 1. What is f of x minus 1? That is g of x minus 1 whole square minus 1. And then I just solved it up and I got the value of x is equal to 1. So I hope you understood this here, guys. I hope you understood this question here. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, we're going to be coming up with more videos. We're going to be completing the course and uh, it will all make it will all be it'll all make life very easy for you so thank you very much for watching this uh, and i'll see you in the next one